In the world of entertainment, there's a star whose performances have left a lasting impact. His unique style and memorable roles have made him stand out among his peers. As we reminisce about favorite moments or personal encounters with this beloved actor, let's share stories that highlight his talent and influence. Whether they're funny, surprising, or touching, these anecdotes help paint a picture of why he's become a symbol in the industry. So, let's dive into the fascinating life and career of this legendary actor. Stay tuned for more insights and anecdotes that reveal the depth of his impact on the entertainment world. Don't miss out on discovering more about his journey and the mark he's left on the silver screen. Growing up in a modest household in New Rochelle, New York, Matt Dillon had a typical childhood surrounded by his parents and five siblings. His interest in acting began to blossom during his time at Hammock School in Larchmont, New York, where he found his passion for the performing arts. Discovered by a talent scout while skipping class, Dylan made his debut in a film portraying a troubled teenager in a suburban community. This breakthrough role in Over the Edge launched his career and showcased his talent to audiences. Throughout his career, he has taken on a variety of roles across different genres, demonstrating his versatility and ability to embody diverse characters. Despite early success, Dylan remains humble and attributes his grounded nature to his family and upbringing. His dedication to his craft and his ability to connect with audiences have solidified his reputation as a respected actor in the industry. In Wild Things, he portrayed Sam Lombardo. His co-star, Corey Pendergast, who played Jimmy, shared the screen with him in There's Something About Mary the same year. In Rumblefish, he took on the role of Rusty James. Dylan considered the book his favorite, as he had read it years prior to filming. Before shooting began, director Francis Ford Coppola screened old films to set the visual tone. He showed films like Decision Before Dawn for inspiration, The Last Laugh to demonstrate silent acting techniques, and The Cabinet of Dr. Caligari as a stylistic prototype. Coppola's use of shadows and smoke created a unique atmosphere, influenced by German expressionist cinema and techniques from Koyaneskezi. In the film Beautiful Girls, he portrays Tommy Birdman Roland, a character who decides to stay home during a reunion to indulge in watching rich man, poor man. He fondly recalls the character Falcone, brilliantly portrayed by William Smith, as one of the most menacing villains he's encountered on screen. Interestingly, Dylan had previously collaborated with Smith in two other notable films, The Outsiders and Rumblefish, where Smith adeptly portrayed antagonists to his characters, adding depth to their on-screen dynamics. Beyond his acting career, he also shares a passion for exploring flea markets, finding joy in discovering hidden treasures amidst the chaos of eclectic stalls. In another notable role, he takes on the character of Cameron Drake in In-N-Out, appearing alongside a star-studded cast that boasts the talent of two Oscar winners and five Oscar nominees. This ensemble performance adds to the film's allure, providing audiences with a captivating cinematic experience. Matt Dillon's versatility shines through once again as he seamlessly embodies diverse characters across different genres, leaving a lasting impression on viewers worldwide. In a certain film, Singles, a character named Cliff Ponsier was portrayed by an actor. The soundtrack of this movie was reissued on May 19, 2017 to commemorate its 25th anniversary. Interestingly, this reissue happened just a day after a tragic event involving Chris Cornell. It's worth noting that the release date was decided in January 2017 before the unfortunate incident occurred. The reissued soundtrack came with updated sound quality and an additional disc containing previously unreleased material such as demos and live recordings by various artists like Paul Westerberg, Alice in Chains, and Mudhoney. Notably, the fictional band in the film, Citizen Dick, contributed a song called Touch Me, I'm Dick featuring members of Pearl Jam. The reissue also included new liner notes and descriptions for each track, provided by Cameron Crowe. In another film, Rumblefish, a character named Rusty James was played by the same actor. Interestingly, another actor, initially set to work in this film, chose a different role in another movie called Risky Business after attending workshops and rehearsals. Both actors had previously worked together with a director on a different project in 1983. Moreover, this actor attended the third annual Amphar Cinema Against AIDS event in Dubai, UAE in December 29. Attending prestigious events and dazzling on the red carpet, a certain actor left a lasting impression with his talent and style. His exceptional performances in film and family heritage in the world of art add depth to his captivating story. He showcased his versatility in various roles, one of which became particularly memorable. Additionally, his fashion choices garnered attention and admiration, echoing a trend-setting style from a previous awards show. 
Moreover, his family's artistic lineage, highlighted by the significant contributions of his relatives, enriches his narrative. This blend of talent and heritage paints a fascinating picture of his journey in the entertainment industry. In 2002, he attended the Deauville Film Festival in France to promote the film City of Ghosts. The event took place in September of that year. Interestingly, he was the original choice for the role of Frank Sangster in the 2001 film Novocaine. However, for reasons undisclosed, the part eventually went to someone else. Moving forward to 2010, he made his presence felt at the Orange British Academy Film Awards in London, England during the month of February. This engagement showcased his commitment to the film industry and marked a notable point in his career. These instances highlight Matt Dillon's active involvement in promoting his work on an international stage and his recognition within the film industry. Exploring the vibrant world of cinema, one actor stands out for his diverse roles and international presence. From gracing prestigious award ceremonies to participating in global film festivals, this talented individual has showcased versatility and commitment to the craft. His portrayal of various characters, including one originally brought to life decades earlier, highlights his ability to rejuvenate familiar roles and captivate audiences worldwide. Through his dedication and charisma, he has made a significant impact on the film industry, earning respect and admiration from peers and fans alike. His journey through different film events is a testament to his passion for storytelling and his enduring influence on the cinematic landscape. In a certain movie, there's a scene where a character played by Matt Dillon clashes with another character portrayed by Deane Lane. Interestingly, during filming, Dillon and Lane didn't get along well. This tension started from an early fight scene, which caused real friction between them. When the cast got back together in 2003, memories of the disagreement resurfaced. Lane mentioned that her sensitivity to Dylan's teasing came from adolescent insecurities. Despite their initial discord, Dylan and Lane eventually became good friends. They even starred together in two more movies where they played each other's love interests. Dylan also played Rusty James in another film, making it his third adaptation of an S.E. Hinton novel. Additionally, he was first considered for the role of Butch Coolidge in a famous 1994 movie. Exploring the life and career of the actor behind various roles offers a deeper insight into his journey. From his upbringing in the Catholic faith to his active involvement in industry events, he brings a unique perspective to his work. Personal connections with co-stars, whether romantic or professional, add layers of charm to the movies he's a part of. These glimpses into his life enrich viewers' appreciation for his talent and authenticity on screen. In movies like Rumble Fish, he played characters dealing with tough situations alongside famous actors like Nicolas Cage and Sofia Coppola. Directed by Francis Ford Coppola, the film showed the challenges of street life and brotherhood. As his characters faced difficult choices, they showed real emotions and struggles that many people could relate to. In other films like The Outsiders and Over the Edge, his characters also faced tough situations and sometimes had conflicts with the police. These roles showed how teenagers deal with feeling misunderstood and rebel against authority figures. His performances in these movies left a strong impression on audiences and critics alike. In Beautiful Girls, he played a character named Tommy Birdman Rowland, exploring themes of love and friendship. The movie resonated with viewers by showing the ups and downs of relationships and growing up. His portrayal of Tommy, haunted by his past and uncertain about his future, was particularly memorable. Throughout his career, he's taken on a variety of roles and brought depth to each character. From troubled youth to adults grappling with life's complexities, he's shown his talent in portraying a wide range of experiences. His work continues to inspire audiences all over the world. In the journey through various roles, one actor's talent shines bright. From auditions to unexpected surprises, his versatility captures hearts. In one film, he declined a role, choosing another that showcased his depth. Another moment, he floated outside his body, a surreal dream sequence brought to life. Directors like Coppola recognize his skill, trusting him with diverse characters. From rebellious spirits to introspective souls, his portrayals leave lasting impressions. His ability to dive into roles, making them his own, cements his status in Hollywood. He leaves a lasting impact on the big screen, his legacy secure in cinematic history. And to die for, he played Larry Moretto. Interestingly, he was not just an actor, but also a musician. Did you know that Andrew Scott from the Canadian rock band Sloan was the bass player in the band and also taught him drums? It's fascinating how talents can intersect in unexpected ways. Moving on to There's Something About Mary, he portrayed Healy. 
This film was a comedy classic, and his performance added a lot to its charm. An intriguing coincidence is that both Ben Stiller and he are left-handed. It's always fun to discover these little quirks about actors, isn't it? Another interesting aspect of his life is his family connections. He's the uncle of Kevin Dillon's daughters, Amy and Ava Dillon. Family ties can often shape one's life in unexpected ways, even in the world of Hollywood. All in all, Matt Dillon's career is filled with diverse roles and fascinating connections, making him a compelling figure in the film industry. This goes to show that there's always more to an actor's story than meets the eye.